Steve, you may have a good collection behind you, but Look I'll tell that. you what you don't have. Oh, I, I know what I don't have. You oh. don't have Lori <laughs> Strode with hot dog fingers. <laughs> Shut it's up! So you may have a lot of your toys, but you don't have Lori Strode with hot dog fingers. That uh, you do not. Uh -oh. You've challenged him now. Right. First of all, there's no challenge. I am. I am more than happy to let you have the mantle of of queen of toys. I. 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 One toy, by the way, made by the Daniels for me on the first day of shooting. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Oh. I. I Absolutely love it. And I do hope this is the beginning of cool toys from this film. I, I, I have, hope so too. I have to start with, and I'm sure you're hearing this from everyone, how much I loved this movie. It is phenomenal. I know every. I mean, I have nothing but positive things to say about this film. Um, and I just want to know for both of you, uh, what was it actually like reading a script like this for the first time? Because it is so unlike anything that's out there and so unique and original and it's why i love movies michelle it's all about you talk go baby <laughs> well you've just put it like in a nutshell steve you know when i first read it it's exactly that like i've never read a script dedicated to a very ordinary aging asian mother housewife that you know and i've said it before it's like this is a woman that you pass by on the streets when you go to the supermarket and you never notice her you, she's just taken for granted nobody really cares about her and suddenly these daniels have given her such a loud voice such a voice that only in a sci-fi movie that it can explode in these crazy multiverses where she can she's actually a superhero so when I read that script, it was like, my God, I've been waiting how many years for someone to be so bold and courageous and write something like that, put it on paper and have then A24 say, yeah, if Michelle Yeoh does it, yeah, I think we can do this movie. Yes. And then we have Jamie Lee Curtis. Who read it once and couldn't understand a word except, <laughs> except I've been to the IRS. I know Deirdre Bobirdra's. As long as I understood her, that's all I needed to understand. The rest of it, I just kind of went with it as the day went by. So I, it's funny. I didn't read it all that much. I really only read it because I felt like I had to. I would have done the movie without reading it simply because Michelle was going to do it. So in the same way that A24 greenlit it, I, I said yes because Michelle was doing it because oh. I'm going to get that chance. To, and it's just truth. I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, I mean, at this point, we're blowing smoke up each other's butts so much that, you know, we're going <laughs> we're gonna to need the barriers. But the truth of the matter is that is the truth of the matter that I said yes, because Michelle Yeoh was doing this movie. No. Also, also, I did hear that they promised you an action figure with a hot dog. Um, no, this is my Lori Strode action figure. They good. didn't, this isn't a Deirdre Bob. You can actually see it's a weirdly good likeness of me. You can't really see it, but they single-handedly made me uh, uh, Lori Strode with hot dog hands. What, one of the things that I can't believe about this film is that it was shot in like 30 something days. I believe 37, 38 days. Yeah. Right. Which when you watch the movie, it doesn't add up. Like, I don't understand because I know how movies are made and this is impossible. So for both of you, how how was this made in such a short period of time? Working every day. <laughs> um, one shot at a time. These people know what they're doing. Daniel they knew exactly what they were doing. You know, they they knew the script inside and out, backwards and forwards, up and down and all the way around. It was like they were the everything bagel. They had everything inside that that those two heads, you know, they were they're like the evil geniuses. But the I think the most important, they were so well prepared that they were able to find the time to try mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. adjustments along the way. And I but I remember very clear distinctly, sometimes you go like I, you, what are we going to do? He's like, try it this way. So they knew very specifically. And they were also, because I think they come from that world of editing and they're technical geniuses with the camera and Larkin, our DP, 
So they caught everything that they needed. They always managed to shoot all the things that they needed and more in a very short period of time because they knew exactly what they, they, they had to have and what they needed because they were editing as they went along. And Paul, our editor, yeah, yeah. Well, what the hell he did, but he did a brilliant job. But they were also incredibly well prepared. Mm -hmm. You can't do a multiverse. No. Sci-fi, martial arts, no. Not family with dramedy no. without being in well prepared. absolutely well prepared. So we would you know. be one day jumping from this universe to the next. I'm in the closet and then I'm out of the closet and I'm in a different outfit. And I'm like, which universe did you come in? Oh, anyway, you're going to die. Just lie there. Like, what, what you know but they would they knew exactly what it was on that note i need to already stop i really mean it sincerely i love this movie so much i wish you both nothing but the best oh thank you so much yeah we're so happy to be here together yes with you this is this is great so here thank i'll wave good. goodbye with my hot dog hand bye bye